guys. Uh, I've never done this before. I didn't know what to expect, and I don't think I have a point. <laughs> um, seriously. Uh, this is an old barn in Morrow County. It's got a star at the top. Isn't that awesome? You know, where do you see that anymore? Um, you know, I, I guess I'll just, <clears throat> I was, I'm just going to freestyle this. Um, why do I take these photos? Why do I seek these places out? You know, when I was younger, the Ohio Brass, when it was still standing, um, we needed a place to skateboard when it was wet out and cold and the winter and snow and um, we didn't have the money. We couldn't afford to go to a big city to an indoor skate park. So we found this old abandoned building that had beautiful concrete floors in it and windows that weren't boarded up. So we had all this natural light and uh, we used to skate in there and build our own obstacles, you know, our own ramps, and we had the whole world to ourselves. And we'd wander around the whole factory, and it was huge, you know. And uh, there'd even be homeless people down there. We'd get scared when we saw them, you know, because we were like 14 and 15 at the time. And um, you know, that's my son Julian, about that age now. Yeah, and he's a good skateboarder. Um, he, uh, I got him a camera, you know, to uh, try to get him into the, you know, I pretty much taught myself how to shoot photos. I'm still teaching or learning and, you know, as I go. Uh, that, there's something, um, <clears throat> I shot this photo in a house south of Columbus. Beautiful old brick farmhouse, you know, and uh, this was the entryway. Well, a lot of it's cut off, but um, yeah, spiral staircase. Well, anyway, I shoot that photo, I put it online, and then somebody I know that I shoot photos with sends me a link to the artist who painted that on the wall. So then I found that artist who painted it on the wall, showed her a link to my photo of her work, you know, and then you just kind of have all of a sudden another contact, you know what I mean? And that's kind of how, um, what shooting photos of this stuff, I uh, use you know, I got on Flickr, a worldwide photo sharing website, got into groups and met a lot of people, um, a lot of Cleveland guys who had kind of taken me under my wing and or under their wing and helped me out and showed me a few things. And you know, the older guys been shooting photos since the 70s. And this was a warehouse in Cleveland where as soon as we walked in, there was all these rubber ducks everywhere, you know. Um, an abandoned greenhouse. And uh, that's probably that little light at the end, you know, that, that's the other side. I'm probably halfway in, and that's still probably about 250, 300 feet away. Um, obviously, it's abandoned, but it's still growing things. Um, I, I don't know why I put that on there, I guess, because it's an awesome ash tree. Um, Erie County Bicentennial Oak, uh, right on the shore of Lake Erie. I just, I wander back roads and I find these things, you know. Moonville Tunnel, Southeast Ohio. It's a ghost town called Moonville. And then there was a steam engine, you know, railroad that went through there and uh, went through that tunnel. Was that in Celeste? Yes. Okay. Right by the Celeste State Forest, Lake Hope State Park. All red brick. The whole arch inside all the way through red brick. Still standing. None of them fell out yet. Wandering back roads, this was like around Waterford, Ohio, like Fredericktown. One morning, foggy out, early spring, I find horses sitting in the, and I don't even, don't even shoot that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, this was an old house in Coshocton County. Um, you know, it, it was, everything was wrecked, holes in the floors, and I still walked up that staircase. It's 12 steps, and I, I happen to work a 12-step program, and that's probably why I'm here today. <laughs> so those steps never fell down. They could hold me up. Um, this is uh, in between Mansfield and Ashland, the swamp area. I just got out of my car, and I wandered way back to where you couldn't see the road or hear it no more. It was a foggy morning, sun coming up um, last October. Uh, Beautiful Lake Erie, Bay Village, uh, Huntington Beach Park. Beautiful area. I mean, when I went there and found this, I said, this is Ohio. Mm -hmm. You know, 
and it's free. Just beautiful. You got this big tree growing out in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful, very multicultural, free. You gotta check it out. This is my friend Alan from up in Cleveland that I met through Flickr, who hooked me up with my first DSLR camera. Um, you, you know, I couldn't afford this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And he really looked out for me. So I'll always be grateful for that guy, you know, and what he did for me. One of our friends we shoot with, and that's kind of what it's like. You go through all the crap to get to a building, and you know, it's in Cleveland. It's an old clothing manufacturer. It's my wife and my two sons. Um, obviously, I'm an explorer, so we, they explore with me too, and we have fun doing it. You know, um, that was last uh, Memorial Day. It was raining, but we were like, "Screw it!" You know, we're, we're just going to go do our own thing. And, um, very good band, Thomas Edison Sound Machine. Yep. You know. A uh, guy who plays drums is an old friend of mine, and um, you know, I just uh, I dig his band, um, kind of indie rock, you know. And, um, Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland kind of looks like Ozzy Osbourne in a way. <laughs> right? uh, very beautiful place. It's free, also. Um, they've got the. Uh, President Garfield Monument there, and uh, yeah, awesome.